this happens to other people. You know, it happens to your relatives or your friends or somebody you read about in the newspaper. It never happens to me. I noticed just a funny pucker kind of a crease in the mirror when I was getting out of the shower and it's like, well, that's strange and <clears throat> felt a lump. I thought I would hear it's nothing. It's just this little cloudy part of, it's a small scar on your lung area that we can, I would we'll just keep an eye on it. I had a tumor in the throat and I was scared. I thought, well, what's going to happen to my ability to sing? It's always, always about the patient. That's what it's about. It's about the patient. Our treatments have to center squarely on the disease and on the tumor with absolute specificity. Um, and that's where we can help the patient the most. And that's true whether it's the surgeon's scalpel, whether it's the radiation beam, whether it's the chemotherapy that is delivered. None of these treatments provide benefit to healthy tissue. The term that is used uh, today to describe this transformational change across healthcare is precision medicine. And it has the potential to yield greater benefits for cancer patients than any other type of patients. If we deliver the very same treatment that we used to deliver five years ago, except with greater specificity, we're gonna end up with our patients winning big. Not only winning big in terms of how they feel during treatment, winning big in terms of how they feel after treatment, and winning big in terms of how long their outcomes are benefited for years on end. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an amazing process. Um, once the um, protons hit the prostate, uh, very few, if any, protons leave the prostate. So that's what makes this um, type of care so important for um, this type of cancer, is it does not pass through the body. The fact that they could literally sculpt the treatment field around my healthy organs and just clean up any stray cancer cells was huge. We live in an era of unprecedented hope when it comes to cancer care. And I think that that has a huge impact on the outlook and the feeling that the patient has from the time of their diagnosis. My voice went down a note, so I'm now a more honest baritone. And uh, I'm back to singing and playing and uh, making a life, you know. <laughs>